Hi, Jordan Lovers. Today I'm going to review, or not really review, to test out the Cadex Rattel camera. As you can see, I got a yellow one. And this particular one is a 1.66mm lens. The original Cadex Rattel that comes with the Nazgul 5 is a 2.1. So, there's not much difference. It's only 2.1 to 1.66. But, uh, in terms of the flying experience, I don't feel any difference. But it is slightly more expensive, maybe by $10. But let's see how's the quality between the old one and the new one. Okay, in this video, I will do uh, three flights with a new camera, each of them with a new battery, a different battery. And we see also the, at the same time, we will evaluate how's the consumption of the, uh, the battery uh, for the Nazgul 5 and I will have one 5 minute video one flight, maybe half a flight of the old Cadex 2.1 Rattel 2.1 and we can put it the video side by side and we can compare to see how, the, how much difference is the 1.66 to the 2.1 for me, I feel there's not much difference all right, before we, you get tired or bored, let's get on with the video. Okay, now I'm trying out my, the new Cadex, I mean Rattel camera, Cadex Rattel on this uh, quad. And also I try to use the headphones to see if I can use the sound of the motors uh, to charge better on the Nazgul 5 okay. The time of the day is about 9 a.m. in the morning and the sky is, uh, the sun is out as you can see the Now Rattel is pointing at the sun. Get ready, you will see, right? You can see now it goes dark and then it comes back bright very fast. See, it goes dark because of the bright sunlight, but the grass is still green. Only in the sh at the shadow you see some blacks. There you go again. A quick turn around, and the colors come back straight away. There's no blind white spots at all. The grass is uh, quite clear, you can see the lines on the grass. I would say the clarity is not bad. OK, 
Okay, with a power loop, you can see the uh, change in color and change in brightness is quite responsive. This is the first uh, battery. Uh, every battery will be roughly about 5 minutes. So we have 3 batteries, so it will take up 15 minutes uh, for, the, for this uh, run. The last one is 2.1mm. Uh, I did another 2 minutes uh, some time ago before this day. And you can compare the video of the 2.1 with the 1.66. The first 15 minutes is for the 1.66. no blind spot at, at all when it's directly facing the sun and then when you do a 180 flip to the back it turns the color comes back again immediately This is the first battery. This is quite an aggressive run. You can see the battery uh, lasted about 5 minutes and uh, 20 plus to 30 plus seconds. Of course, the current meter is not calibrated in the NAS group, but um, we're only comparing aggressive and non aggressive flights. Yeah, just for to let you know. The default setting for the uh, Cadex Ratel at stock is uh, PAL and 16x9. The sensor is 16x9 and if you set to 14.3, the sights will be cut off. So you will lose some sight image. Well, some people prefer that so that they can only see, they focus on the center more. But I don't mind seeing more, especially when you're doing a, a turn. You can see the sights clearer. And especially with the 1.66 lens, I believe I'm, I'm already seeing more. It's just that I don't notice while I'm flying. It's only when you compare Rattel 2.1 and 1.66 side by side, which I will do in a later video, you can see how much more 1.66 is able to see. Maybe slightly more. Especially when you're doing a sky leap, you can see that when it focus down to the ground, you can immediately see the focus and the lines on the on the grass.
over here, you can see the, the different tones of the sky when it turns from the direct sunlight to the uh, side view. Okay, when you're looking at the sun, you can still see the background is pretty, pretty much clear. And when you do a 180 degree pitch back, you can see that the colors just come back, which is fantastic for a FPV camera. This flight was about six minutes. Also a pretty aggressive flight. Okay, now the next flight for the third battery. This, I would say, is a more cruising flight. You can say that it, it consumes less uh, battery consumption. It's more of a relaxed cruising flight. Okay, for this particular flight, I will go on the road you can see that when it, at least it goes into shades and it goes out from the shade. So you can see how the Cadex Ratel performs from there. Okay, right now it's facing the sun and the road still looks clear. Now it's under the shade of the trees and it's still good. Like this is not just it's not an ordinary cruising cruising flight there are some flips and uh, power loops
certain points you can see that the video speeds up. I don't know what's the reason for this. It could be the Ishin 200D that is recording and there are some missing frames so they just got speed up by the uh, the editing software. Okay, now I'm going to test the VTX. This has nothing to do with the camera. I'm going behind the trees and I'm sitting facing on the opposite direction. So basically the quad is behind me and there are trees blocking the view. As you can see from the uh, VTX setting, I am at the Racing Band 5 and uh, VTX Power 4. So the, the, the signal was able to penetrate the trees. going on the reverse direction on the road and you can see certain parts are shady the trees are black but the roads are still looks good For this clip, this is uh, recorded a few days ago, maybe a week, up to a week or two weeks ago. This was uh, with the Cardex Ratel 2.1 mm, and this was before the modifications on the Nesco 5. This is the one that comes in stock of the Nesco. It looks like the quality is the same. You can see the sensor is picking up every detail, and when it's looking directly at the sun. And uh, the sun is, is the evening sun for this uh, clip. Uh, it doesn't go dark throughout the whole video. It just goes dark around the sun. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel. 
yeah, by clicking on the uh, subscribe button right on the right side of the, of the screen. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.